Um, you know, I think uh, what you saw was a real good attention to detail of, you know, making sure we get people back, we get above people. Um, you know, we gave up some couple opportunities off a bad change and stuff like that. But I thought our work away from the puck, it really had nothing to do with system. It had, it had to do with effort. There were some guys that were pretty annoyed, I thought. Yeah. I thought our top guys got a little bit annoyed that there wasn't much ice to skate around in. That's good. You like that? I do like that. Yeah, I actually think our goalies like it too. You know, I think all that will sort itself out. Um, I've really liked, you know, his work ethic in, in camp the first couple of days and even his work ethic today. I thought just, again, you know, puck decisions. It's probably one of the issues that we have to put our arms around because we still gave up some big chances on just poor puck decisions. Um, and, you know, he's he's inside that group that sometimes tries too many high-risk or one-on-one -on -one type plays not necessarily an offense, but you know, holding a puck in a in an area that's really dangerous and giving up a high quality opportunity. What was your impression now? He knew a lot of these guys, coaching Devils, whatever. Benson's a guy they draft. He's an 18 year old. He makes the team last year. So you only had to deal with him two or three times with Devils. Now you're his coach here. What's it been like seeing that guy on the ice and seeing his motor and that as a 19 year old feel a little more comfortable in the NHL? Yeah. It, like for me, he seems like a special, a special player. That uh, you know, his motor is really good. His hockey IQ is really good. Um, he's got a lot of puck savvy. So you know, he's got he's got everything. I see why, you know, why they kept him. I you know, I don't know. The understanding was I don't think they had him penciled in, but he worked his way in. And uh, you look at today's scrimmage. I thought he was real good in today's scrimmage. Um, it's been awesome. I think his energy is infectious. Um, it's one of the things I, I really admired from day one in the conversations with him. I'm, you know, I've I've told the players, you know, energy and enthusiasm throughout the drills and whatever we're doing. I've told the coaching staff the same thing. That, you know, we got to put out the same amount of energy and and the enthusiasm has got to be at a real high level. And I think. Uh, you know, I think there's newness when you when you work with somebody. And a lot of the drills, you know, he'll go up to the board. Those are, are drills that they, they've done down in Rochester. I like them. Um, um, I like the fact that, you know, Marty is putting some drills. Seth has got a whole bunch of drills that uh, – drills that you haven't done before that can help us get to where we want to go, whether it's angling, whether it's slowing people down in the neutral zone. Um, uh, Seth's a good coach. He's – He's got great energy and his detail when explaining drills, when watching video. Uh, it was easy uh, for me to bring him aboard because we see the game the same way. Well, I think you've, you've just pretty well named it. I mean, he's done – I don't even know if I've really said much to him because he's pretty well done what, you know, you draw up on the board or, or his defending or his play away from the puck. Uh, his hounding, you know, or hunting the puck is F1 or getting in the zone is as good as anybody. So um, he's one of those kids that, uh, you know, he gets the game. And I think he, he knows there's – a certain way to play it for him to be effective, and he's really good at it. What is your experience with kids like that? I mean, he has scored goals at every level he's played at. Last year, he did get into double figures as an 18-year-old. Do they tend to catch on it and become goal scorers in the NHL in your experience when they have been able to score goals at every level? They do. I think uh, 
there's a certain amount of players take a little bit more time. Maybe it's a two, three years, Paul. Uh, but most times, if you scored goals at almost every level, um, you'll find a way to get it done here. And I think he's already on his way to finding that way, that he, he realizes this is a harder game against stronger people and bigger bodies. But he's still figured out, you know, a way to get around the net and and be strong on the puck, protect the puck, and hang on to pucks and make plays, you know, in a real small piece of ice. Zero. I did. I, you know, I just said, uh, you know, even, you know, I mentioned that the that series, I, Paterka was a guy that I really noticed. But I, uh, the games I watched, uh, really liked the way the team played. Um, the way the team plays is, you know, pretty common with the way I've had our teams play. You know, our systems really mirror each other. Um, so, you know, from D zone to neutral zone to four check, you know, almost a mirror image of how his team played and our team plays. Your first preseason game normally isn't a bunch of guys, but is it changing with the schedule? I mean, how are you looking at tomorrow in terms of football? Yeah, I, again, we, we were sitting there talking about, you know, we've only got two games before – you know, we leave and we only have one game before we play when we get over there. So, you know, I think we're going to look at the majority of our group playing in those games. You know, maybe two or three guys that won't play. Uh, but otherwise, you know, get our get our group ready to play. I mean, obviously, Darlene won't be part of that for, for a couple of days probably. Uh, but the rest of the group, we're, they're going to play. Some will play two, some will play one. He actually skated today, so you know we'll see where that goes. Uh, how he felt after his skate, and encouraging that he was back out there ready. What do you want to see from Jason Zucker and his role? I, I actually thought that line was was really good today. I you know, good veteran presence, uh, voice on the bench. Uh, there was some really good energy from you know Malincin. You know the feedback from on the bench and and. Uh, players like that, McLeod, Malenstein, uh, obviously those are the type of guys that, you know, kind of can change a little bit of the dynamics, have been in the wars, and I think uh, he knows. He knows how to play the game the right way. I think he understands that, you know, the role he's going to have here might be a little less than he's ever had in his, his career, uh, but he still understands how to win hockey games. Get to the front of the net. Can that be when, it's, when somebody who's been in the league as long as he has and has produced the way that he has is doing that? Well, again, you want you know you want your veterans to lead the way. He's one of the guys we have to count on. Uh, one of the guys we brought in for some of that veteran leadership. And um, when you're dialing up plays or you're dialing up when you want guys to get to the net, I think he's uh, the first guy that's on board and, and knows that there's a certain amount of goals you can score from being around the net, and there's a certain amount of goals you can score in the rush. And if you want to be a complete goal scorer, you're going to have to get inside. You're going to have to get to the net, and then you got power play and special teams that can add to that number. Uh, very impressed. Really, um, I, I thought I was the best player in the ice today at scrimmage, actually. Um, you know, almost every time the blue team was up ice, he was part of that, and I thought he defended well at the same time. Andy, this is our first chance to see Consolanius with the NHL guys. What was your impression of him? Obviously, he scored, but what was your overall impression? I, I've been I've been impressed even through prospect camp, and now uh, for a guy that young to carry himself as well as well as as he has when it comes to the physical part of the game, knowing where to be. Uh, the some of the puck battles against bigger men have been really good puck battles. Uh, so overall, you know, just impressed with. His overall play for, you know, being 18 years old. I have to bring up too. Uh, he was part of that third session yesterday, a very competitive session, and there was a lot of uh, seemingly scary incidents that happened. Uh, do you have any comment as to that, and any update on Victor Noitsch? Um, Noitsch will be okay. Uh, that was kind of an unfortunate play. I mean, not a play you'd like to see in practice. Um, 
you know, that drill was built to, you know, try to get people to the net and drive the net. And um, Neutsch was doing what he was supposed to do and, you know, end up hitting the goalpost. But in all sense, I think he'll be, he'll be back on the ice in a day or two. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.